Hello, 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 hello! What's up, guys? What's going on? Crash not here. Round two. I'm having something. Here we go. Make some more games. Make some more grim. We just created a card back. Can hey, what's up, dude? It's not the best card back, but it's a card back. And basically, what we're gonna do with the card back is we're going to swap it out so all the cards will show their card back before they show their card. If that makes sense, right? So by default, a card will have the card back sprite on top. Grim time, what's up? How you doing, Mike? Good to see you. Uh, we just added a new card this morning, Mike. We added Talking Cat. We have to slow the game down. Right now we have to slow the game down, right? We have a card in here, a new card called the Fox. Which, the card always starts in your hand, so you always have a turn one play if you want, right? Uh, we also have some new locations that we can't click on yet to make bigger, but that's okay. We have Moonlit Lake. On, on play card effects trigger twice. Actually, catch a morning stream, yeah. Beehive cards here lose one attack power at the end of each turn. Nice art. Oh, it is. I literally just Google. Right now, I'm just Googling Brothers Grimm. And then the name of the. <laughs> and then the name of the card. So it's not the best art in the world, but it's. I mean, you know, you gotta get what you gotta get. We actually need to find. This is some sick art, though. But we need to find an, a dedicated artist for this stuff. For sure. Um, Pied Piper, we're gonna put here. This will give us two rats. No? Why is it broken? Not broken. In turn. There we go. It wasn't broken. It was a second rat. There we go. Draw some mean step figures? I'll take it. Let's do it. The hollow discards a card, so discard whatever we drew. Uh, we are going to play. Um, we're gonna play Master Thief. Here. Actually, so if we play Master Thief here, right? We get two mana from them next turn. Do it. We should have gotten two. We didn't. That's broken. Okay. Talking Cat. Uh, gives us a card in our hand. Right? So this adds a copy of a random card in your opponent's deck to your hand. And we'll play both rats. They're currently at zero, so we're currently winning that. Okay. And we got... Looks like we got Frog King from their hand. Or from their deck, which is not good. But we, get, we do have a new card, the Wolf. And the Wolf discards the entire opponent's hand, plus three attack power for each card. So the wolf can get real beefy if there's a lot of cards in their hand, right? And you'll be able to see those stats at some point. Um, we're only at turn five still, but I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play the massive card. Yeah, that can get real big, right? Five cards left in that deck, and there's you know it's a plus it's a plus fifteen. It might be too strong. It was a six seven. I brought it down to a six four. Um. So I think we're gonna play step. We we'll play Cinderella. Here, because that's actually more benefit for us. Nice. So they took Master Thief, so we'll take that minus three. Thanks so much. They use Rapunzel to take Master Thief. So now I think we're going to come in with a wolf kill, right? We might wolf. So I don't think doubling this does anything, but we're going to test it. It did not. But she became, he became a 6-10, and it was only two cards in their hand. Wow, this wolf was 13 because it discarded our hand. Whew! Dang. So we actually ended up winning. We have new stuff in here where it says winner left, winner right, and winner center player wins. So it tracks to see what happened with the actual numbers. And we saw that we won two locations, so the player won. This is good. Definitely getting there. Sure. Okay. So. Um, inside Endgame. We need to change the UI manager end turn text. Equal to finished. Instead of the number. Makes sense to me. Um, 
What's up, Mawe? How you doing? Good to see you. Okay, so... We... So we have an error. Right? So, we have a bug we have to add to our Trello board, right? So, ongoing bugs, ongoing, or we'll just say bugs, um, need this, need this over here, bugs, uh, Master Thief does not interact properly with um, move it well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, let's work on getting this, this, uh, let's slow down the game a little bit. So we're gonna actually change and turn. We're gonna run through each of these, right? Check for invoked effects. When we do that, so here, do a yield return new, wait for seconds, and we will do the, the check for invoke effects is what? The coroutine for activate invoke. Um, we are just gonna wait, wait point one here now instead. Um, That way we have some time to finish everything. Um, wait for seconds. I'm gonna set up a, t a medium, some kind of medium timer thing. And it's a float that says uh, time to wait between things. Sounds good to me. 2.5 seconds is fine. To it. Okay. We are gonna actually do it here. No, you know what? We are gonna do it here. I like that button better. Check for invoke effects. You then need to make sure that we take the POI that this is in. So check for invoke effects, all cards. Oh. Um All cards played this turn. The POI location dot uh, update power display. Cool. That might slow things down. We're gonna see how that works. All right? Let's see how that works. Let's see, we play the fox. Yep, that did work. Um, if we play Frog King, I gotta take Frog King out of my deck, man. All right, we're playing Enchant Enchanted Castle, which transforms the card every turn. Sick, it did slow it down. Looks a lot better. Um, Faithful Henry? Oh shoot, Rapunzel. All right, Talking Cat is our play for sure. What just changed? Why is the background moving? What is happening here? The giant. Why did the giant get cloned out here? What is happening there? That's new. That's a new thing. Does Talking Cat do that? What? Okay. 
have talking cat right now? No. Let's see thief. Isn't it like... I was able to grab it. I can't grab it anymore. Okay. Alright, wait. Hold on a second. So, we don't want to lock the POI until... We don't want to lock it in POI until it needs to be locked. Unintended Vera Parallax? It... Talking Cat dropped the giant into the background of the scene. We need to get a Talking Cat again. Truly a giant, right? 100%. Also, let me tell you. If you sit on cards like this and they have Wolf in their hand, oh my goodness. Not fair at all. All right, we want to take the stepmother back. Let's try to get the, let's try to get the RNG. Play a rat too. We didn't get the stepmother. Dang, well, we got we did get. Oh, we took the beggar woman. Bummer. All right, we have Goose Girl now. Goose Girl's a new card. What is this picture? You are a time traveler. Whoa, that's neat. That's impressive. The Goose Girl's strong. Plus one attack out for each card in your deck. We are on turn six though, so we're gonna wolf. And we only have to get six to win here. Is that worth doing this then? Yeah, we don't have any other plays. Do we win at all? We lost. What did we lose? I guess they played Rumble Stellskin. Okay. We only got we only got one card out of their hand? Jeez. So Wolf can be countered pretty hard by like zoo style decks, right? Um Okay, so this is definitely waiting between things. We have to see why we cannot pick the card up anymore. Before we hit end turn. Card. Enter card. If it's locked, if it's not locked, do that stuff. On inspect card, on play card, detach card from hand. Detach card. Put a man at C cost. Okay, this is that detach card from hand, right? So we're gonna change that to detach card from hand. There needs to be a detached card from the from location. Or just detach card from round. Card C. This is this is this. Uh, if it's locked, return. So if um, C dot is locked, return. Then we do this. Right? That way you can move it around. So detach card from realm. I believe the card has the event trigger on that. Let me see. Please have, please don't have it be this. Shoot. So you're telling me I'm gonna have to go through and update the template on every single one of these? Bummer. The template isn't set up correctly either, is it? Of course not. Of course it's not. Okay. Here's the plan. Here's the plan, Stan. Um, that's a bummer. We literally just have to add this. Right? And it's on detach. On detach. That's card from hand. That's card from realm. Card C. 
UI manager. Or detach, detach card from hand. Oh. Okay. That's card from Realm. Right? Okay. So. We are going to add this as a. We're going to add that when it hits the location. We're going to add that as an on as an on drag. Right. How can I add that as a listener? So the card template's in here somewhere. Right. Display template for sorting. Okay. We'll figure this out. Okay. If it's not inspect card, detach card from realm. This is on drag. It's going to be... The right way to do this is going to be... When we put car, add card to POI, right? We can then move card to new location, move card to the other side. So I can literally just go like this and go add to realm. And then when we add to realm, we do card template for sorting dot get component event system event trigger right dot dot on drag dot on drag do like a lambda like that this is an event an event data On drag event data dot hmm has to be event data event data dot We already have event systems, okay. I can do event system dot current dot selected game object. Right. That event data. Um how do we add a new trigger? I do a new data, new pointer event data, event system. New event system. No. How do I get this? How do I get this on drag to cooperate? Okay, I need to figure out how to add um, add an event trigger unity via um, script. Aha! Uh -huh. Good old internet. Okay. Good old internet. All right. So event trigger. Right, so we need a event. We need to first set the event trigger to this guy. Card template. Got your component. Event trigger. Thanks, Internet. And then event trigger 
dot entry. Okay, I see that. I see that equals a new event trigger entry. Okay, then we do entry dot event ID equals event trigger type. I see how this is working. Dot drag. Right. Or dot drag. Yeah. Yeah, drag. Um and then entry dot callback. I would never have even known to do it this way. Add listener. There we go. Um event data. Event data. No no no. Add listener. Right. You think kids grow up nowadays and think that Google's the internet? Um. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell because my six-year-old knows how to navigate the internet, well, like going on YouTube and stuff. But I don't think she considers the that is the internet. I think she considers that she can just go on the internet. But she hasn't ever asked that. She says, she can, can I go on YouTube? Right? Can I go on insert website? I don't think she ever does it any other way, honestly. I think she's never actually... There's a, there's a high chance they're never going to call it the internet. There's no reason for them to do that. What is event data here? <laughs> Browse the web, guys. How do I get the event data? Calls for base event data. Right, so this here would be a base event data. I don't have that. What's up, Chris? How you doing, bud? There's a lot. There's a lot in here. Just woke up nice, man. We working on. We are trying to get the ability to drag cards off of realms. It's right now in your chair. It's a good song. Zealous is a good track. Um, hmm. So it's event type drag. We need to figure out how to get the event data here, right? Cardicle is some absolute bangers. It really does, man. I'm not just saying that because Chris is here. I pointer, I drag. Can I do that? Can I just throw that here and then do it this way? Around. to the realm one drag if POI location is not equal to null okay um gonna need to do some music for world of grim man 
Obviously in the future. We're not close. We're not close. I know you're a busy man right now. <sighs> I know you're a very busy man. Right. So... But not this anymore, right? I just need... I need... Uh, mm, it's gonna be UI Manager Detach from Realm. Yes. Maybe. Can I... Can it have... Like, the question here is, can I have this drag base event data and the other one? Is that allowed? Detach card from hand needs to exist only. I don't think they need this like this. Detach card from hand. Where are you? That's this environment for your project right now. <laughs> Lord, I have a lot to do. Oh, I'm sure. Good to be nice watery tarts. Just pleased to make music for Crass's next game. Yes. Yes, it must be nice. All right. Detach from hand. Okay. This is that. Is inspect card and not locked. And not locked in POI. Right? It's the same thing. At least attach the card from the realm. Is locked in POI return, obviously. Okay, we might be okay here. I'm gonna put some coffee beer back, sounds good. I'll do you soon. Can I do this? Can I pull to Fox and then let Fox get pulled? Nope. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Are you locked here? What does a fox say? Okay. It's not locked. In this, it's in the location here. Um, I don't think I actually know the answer here. Which kind of sucks. My question I can do. I can go like this, template, detach card from hand, the fox, the detach card from realm, and if that works, then I hate everything that exists. Okay, so, right, if I can detach the card here, freaking A, man. We are gaining mana like crazy right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> interesting. Is that because... Why are we getting mana back? Why were we getting mana back? It was weird. Right? If I spend the mana, and I pick him up again, and I put him somewhere else... Oh, negative one. I see, I see, I see. I see. If I add him... Hmm, wait. I actually don't know everything about this yet. There's more to this. There's more than I must than I must experiment with. Players, game turn. POI. This guy. This thing right here. Okay. Players cards. Left. Pull it to middle. Still says it. Pull it back. There's two. But if we hit end turn, it says there's two. No. All right. Okay. Okay. So. We detach card from the realm. We go to POI location. Oh, C dot. POI location dot remove dot dot hold on 
one sec. If owner dot c dot owner equals owner deck. Okay. Then c owner cards dot remove c. Okay. Same thing. Player deck. Oops. Okay. So now that should work. Nice. Okay. So now, let's see. Now what? Um. Now we have you being able to move cards between, and also if it comes from the card, card from realm and places a card right so let's see here we're gonna add a bull bull check here that is is in hand and it starts out true right when it gets detached from the hand Detach card from hand. I told you once I'm suffering from heavy depression. Today I got a psychological expectation from a doctor. It confirms that again. Well, psychological expertise from your doctor. Well, I mean, at least, at least your doctor is on point. Right? Think about it that way. Your doctor knows you, which is a good thing. Right? If they know you, they can help treat you, which may be a long battle. That's a good thing. Because if they went, yeah, no, you don't have depression. And you're like, mm, no, I do. <laughs> right? Then you probably wouldn't take them seriously. So, so now the, if you detach the card from the hand, right? Now, the detach card from hand, C dot is in hand is now false, right? Um, C dot is in hand goes back to it when you reattach card to the hand. So this becomes a uh, selected card. Select the card is in hand. I think opponent. You got this, Chris. Hanging out here is nice because you're always positive. Hey, man, no worries. Appreciate you being here as always. That's card true. Um, that's card from realms already false, so that's fine. Let me add card to a POI. Card to POI. Right, we already subtracted from the hand. Okay. If C dot is in hand, right? Is in hand. How do we do this? Add card to player. No, let's transform card. How does this work? Huh? 
Not that. Whatever true is. So it's this. On this POI. You know what? I have an idea. Add card to player. If, if, this, okay. If, I guess you can do this. If from hand, And c.poi is equal to null. C.owner deck mana this turn minus equal C mana cost. That might do it because then we don't have to do it here. We put it before setting the location to the POI. That could work for us. sick okay now when it reattaches reattach we put the mana back on the player because now we can reattach reattach if there's a POI attached to it right now we reattach card got this reattach card to hand okay do this we go first of all we get the card set the card dot get component get component component card okay card card go card this guy um card all right if card dot poi location is not null, then we reattach the mana. So card dot owner deck dot mana this turn plus equals card dot mana cost. Okay. Then we also do card dot poi location equals null. That should let us put it back on. Right, it should be okay then. So fox, boom! Look at that. Yep, that's great. Also, we need to increase the scale again. When we placed it, it needs to be rescaled when we reattach the card. Um, scaling gets dropped down to. POI, POI, POI. Add card. Add. On play card, is that where it happens? Yes. What's the original scaling? The original scaling is 0 0.8. 0 0.6. Okay. So. Cards have a little bounce when you pick up a roost them. Am I seeing that correctly? Yes. Yeah, they slide up a little bit. A little bit of a little bit of extra work. Enter card is locked. Scale points. I think that's right. Okay, so when we reattach the card, we touch card to hand. Doesn't have two tween yet. That's weird. Card dot transform. Like a card, I guess it would be. Then card dot raycast. Oh, it already calls the raycast. Um. Okay with that. I don't need to do that here anymore. So it's going to be 0. 0.6. Like 
So if that's what these cards are set at, 0.6, yeah, we should be okay. Alright. Nice. Perfect. The layers are being weird, though. Can't pull it anymore. That's weird. This to that. That. Oh, it's being real weird. Alright, so this needs to go here. Right? And then this is not a thing. I don't think. That should be okay. Being able to reattach the card is great. Being weird though. Why is it not letting me control that? Box is template. Do it for its sort order. New maker's template. New maker's sort order is. Hero. Now what is it? Great. Shoemaker. Can't reach it. What's the reasoning there? weird bug okay um let's head out